Hey what's up, in this edit I'm going to show how you can create a cool title it has videos playing inside the text as you see in the intro and you see it playing right now. I'll show you how you can do it, it's uh, very simple. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create the background so I'm just going to go and grab a solid background so it's under the generators, solids and I'm just going to get a custom background and chuck it in the timeline. So I've put that in the timeline and I just have a black solid background. And the next thing I want to do is put some text in. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, one of these text, 3D text. Uh, say scale 3D, that looks all good. So I'm just going to drag that into the timeline. Now that you've got your title, you want to start with the first letter. So I'm going to use uh, T in travel. So I've got the T there. Uh, I'm just going to bring that across to the left here. Now I want to go grab a video file so any old video file for this purpose I'm just going to chuck it underneath the title so you can see there there's the title and then underneath I just drag that video so now what I need to do is I want to make this video just play inside the text so I'm going to click select the title and come over to the blend mode in the inspector and I'm going to go stencil alpha and that puts it inside that uh, text so if I play that back you'll see it kind of playing in there I'm just going to increase the size of the T because it's quite small and with the scale here okay so that looks all good so now you got the first letter and you have a video inside playing I'm just going to go ahead and copy so command C this T so the title once I've copied it I just want to select both the title and the clip that is playing inside so the two not the cus not the background just the top two and I'm going to create a new compound clip and I'll just name it T so now I've got a new compound clip and I just want to now command V or paste that title that I just copied and I'm just going to move it away from the T now you'll see nothing comes up at the moment that's because you don't have a clip um, underneath this title so you just want to go grab another clip so grab another clip and now you'll see this T or this one this title will have this clip underneath it um, I'm just going to rename that R so now I've got a T and an R I'm just going to position it so that I've got that helicopter in it Okay, so now I've got an R and underneath that I have the T compound clip. So now I just need to select those two clips, uh, leaving the T in the custom and again create a new compound clip and I'm going to name it R and OK. And you'll see once I do that, then the T will come into view. Okay, and then you'll have your R as well. So you just have to do that for all the letters in your title. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So I have the custom background and then I have the T, R, A, V, E, L. So these are all separate compound clips. So now what you need to do is you need to transform and position the letters so that there's even spacing and it looks good. So I'm going to start with the T. So I'm selecting the T. I'm going to go to the transform. And then I'm just going to slowly drag this out a little bit. So I'll go to about there. Then I'm going to go to the R, select the R. And then go to the A. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. So you just play around with that. So I'll play that back. You see the basics there. Uh, the one on the left here, it's probably got the too much movement in the video. It doesn't really look that good. But the rest, they look pretty good. So the next thing that you can do is customize the background. So what I did in the intro here, uh, it's very simple and you can just change the color of the background and add keyframes. So what you need to do is just select the background. So open up the inspector. You want to go over to the left here to the parameters. I'm just going to add a keyframe here. I'm going to go in a little bit on the timeline. 
Uh, depending on your music, you can um, change all the colors to your music. Um, but I'm just going to show you how you can quickly do it. So I'm just going to click on the colors here and open it up. At the moment, you can just see I'm, I'm moving this around. It's all black. Just go down here uh, to the color slider and just change it to about, say, mid midway. And then you have all the colors here. So my first color, I'm just going to go up to here, the green. Uh, and obviously, it added a keyframe there. And then I'm just going to go along a little bit more. And I'm going to go, say, the opposite to the pink. And then I'm just going to continue doing this. And while I'm doing that, it's adding keyframes and it's adding the color. So each time I go to a new spot on the timeline, and then I drag the color to a different color, and it adds a keyframe. Okay, so that's the end of that. So if I play that back, then you'll see that the background now changes color, um, and you can change the color according to your music or your intro music or whatever. So that's the basics of that uh, little title and how you can do that. You don't have to use a background like this, a custom. You can use like your video or a, a picture. Um, this is a picture. You could use a video, you could use solids, whatever. So there's an easy, quick way to create this kind of title. Um, if you like the video, then like, subscribe, comment. Till next time, cheers.